its official China and Brazil have reached an agreement to move away from the US dollar. Now, before anyone panics, don't worry. That was just for dramatic effect. But here's the thing. The world's second largest economy is steadily distancing itself from the United States, and the dollar is among the first to feel the impact. Today, let's break down what's happening, why it's happening, what it means for you, and whether this is something to be concerned about. This is a pretty serious topic. Billionaire Ray Dalio has long talked about the inevitable decline of major economies, how these cycles repeat themselves, and how we can prepare for these shifts based on historical patterns that occur roughly every hundred years. But before we dive in, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribing also helps out a ton. Thank you so much. Now, let's get started. Here's a quick recap to bring you up to speed. For the past 80 years, the US dollar has been the most powerful currency globally, known as the reserve currency. This means it's widely accepted everywhere due to its safety, resilience, and stability. Since 1945, the dollar has held this title, helping to stabilize investments, exchange rates, and commodities like gold and oil. It acts as a global standard, allowing countries to trade goods and services with a universal, predictable value. But now, the US dollar's position as the world's reserve currency is at risk. To understand why, we can look at Ray Dalio's insights on the changing world order. Throughout history, dominant economies eventually give way to rising powers. For instance, before the US dollar, the British pound was the world's reserve currency for 105 years. Before that, it was the French, the Dutch, and even the Venetians. These currencies typically last around 100 years before being replaced, and the transition can take 10 to 20 years. So, what causes this? Dalio breaks it down into three phases, rise, peak, and decline. During the rise, countries enjoy prosperity driven by strong education, innovation, and productivity. But at the peak, the costs rise, and other nations copy innovations at a lower cost, reducing the leading country's competitive edge. The decline occurs when people lose faith in the currency, leading them to sell rather than reinvest. Dalio explains that in an economic downturn, nations often print more money to cover their debts, which devalues the currency and increases inflation. This pattern has occurred multiple times, from the dot-com bubble to the 2008 mortgage crisis, and now the 2020 pandemic. Eventually, wealthy individuals move their assets to safer investments, allowing new countries to take over as the global reserve currency. According to Dalio, this has been happening since the Roman Empire and is likely to happen again. So, where is the US dollar now? While the dollar is weakening, it's still stronger than it has been over the past 20 years, despite a recent dip. It's also backed by strong demand for US Treasury bonds, which means people still trust it as a safe investment. However, there's concern over foreign currency reserves. Essentially, how much US currency other nations hold. The US dollar is now at its lowest foreign reserve level in 25 years, with other currencies starting to take its place. On March 29th, China and Brazil struck a deal to trade in their own currencies, bypassing the US dollar. They transact about $150 billion a year, which will no longer go through the US. While this isn't the first time such a shift has occurred, China has been moving away from the dollar since 2010. It signals a larger trend. Countries like Russia, India, and South Africa are also trading in their own currencies, forming the BRICS alliance. Even though these changes are happening, the US dollar is still dominant in global trade. While China's economy may outgrow the US by 2030, the dollar still makes up most international transactions. There's no immediate replacement for it as the reserve currency. However, countries like Saudi Arabia are exploring alternatives and excess US government spending could further weaken the dollar's global position. Even Elon Musk tweeted that the US is making it easier for countries to ditch the dollar. So, it's a topic worth paying attention to. The US dollar may face competition, but it's not disappearing as the world's reserve currency anytime soon. Instead of worrying about the possibility of the dollar losing its status, it's more productive to focus on things you can control, 
like diversifying your investments, saving and building consistent income streams. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more updates.